Hey, brothers and sisters, um, I just, look, let me start by saying, welcome to the channel. I want to share something with you because everything inside of my spirit says there's somebody who needs to hear this. And this person is very important in the kingdom of God, but they need to hear this message. And I know it will get to them because of, that's the God we serve. Um, I'm going to almost tell you a story and tell you the dream I had last night. I feel like I'm summarizing my life right now. You know, when you get a, an encounter and that encounter explains your life. Anyway, my parents had me when they, they were in high school. They were young, the last year of high school. So I was raised by my grandmother. My grandmother is still alive and my grandmother is, is a praying woman. My grandmother, all we know is that we would be sleeping and she was always praying when I was young, right? My grandmother is the type who can call and say to you, where are you, where are you? And you say, what, what are you talking about? And she says, I was praying for you and where you are supposed to be standing, it was just darkness, where are you? Meaning that you are not praying. Anyway, so I was young, so I've never really, I don't know, cause um, I, I can't say I was taught, no, I wasn't taught how to pray. So we didn't go to church. We never went to church, we're not a church, going family which is why i say to people you know people think don't realize what a privilege it is because i was never taught to go to church but my family now everybody goes to church and my mother says that i'm the one who got the family to go to church i don't know why i always had a spirit inside of me that always wanted to go to church when i was young so i would wake up every sunday from primary school and go find a church and and then i just moved churches like that and eventually my whole family started going to church and they are uh, hardcore like i even went when i was in the wilderness it was now my family praying for me right anyway i want to get to something i've always dreamt but i don't think anybody knew that i had a, a, a gift in 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 because i you know when you don't grow up in church or if we don't talk about scripture then there's nobody to direct you you just think oh i dreamt this i dreamt that so i could I, I never used to link my dreams to to scripture right um but as i was growing up and i was now out of home living in a different country i would realize like i would wake up and i'll say like i remember saying to some some of my friends i feel like i travel in my dreams in the sense that i would dream you know where and the view will be this way, guys, where my eyes are seeing this camera, I can see my hands, but I can't see my eyes. So, you know, like if a movie does a recap of something, of your memory, they show you in the recap. And my brain always says, that, that, that doesn't make sense. A recap should be through the lens of your eyes. So what I'm trying to say is I would have dreams where I'm looking at things this way, like it's through the lens of my eyes. I can tell that I don't, for example, I'll be walking with somebody and I say, I don't know you. I don't know you. But it's like I could, I will be myself inside somebody and I will be living a reality that's not mine with people that I've never met. So that's when I would go on to Google and I started uh, Googling things like traveling in dreams. And I think, you know, it got me to astral projection or something like that. But somehow I'm one person who never really wanted to to cross into the spirit world too much like i never you know some people get fascinated oh i can do astral projection and they go deeper as to how do i make myself do it how do i enforce it how do i purposefully get myself to do it for me it was like no i know i'm not crazy i know i know that was not my dream i know i would feel like i did i, I traveled in my dreams and i would i would want to know did i just travel into a reality did i travel into someone's dream i just knew i traveled but i you know so 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 that's what introduced me to the the new age kind of horoscopes um um astro travel um crystals but i never really dug deep in it sharp uh, remember I, I i don't know scripture i i so i my reference point again is google so um i i did a video where I 
on this channel where I renounced um, astrology and new age because I had a dream where the, the water spirits were attacking me. I was trying to leave a house where there was a lot of us and the water spirits attacked me. Again, I'm going to link the video at the end. This is why I think today's video is important. I woke up from a dream today and you know when you wake up and immediately it's like you've been given extra information. I woke up and I felt like I've been in training this whole time. I've been in training because remember, I, I, for those who don't know, I had a dream first of September last year. So as we approach this September, indeed, I have, I'm, I'm going to, I would have gone full circle. I had a dream first of September and I quit my actuarial job, right? But today when I woke up, I woke up and I said, I've been in training because, okay, so what happened is, um, I, I'm going to be referring to old videos. So in July, there was a day my son woke up. My son is four years old. He, he woke up and he said, Mommy, why were you praying all night? I'm like, what? Uh, guys, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't have that. Well, I, ne I, I think I believe I didn't have that gift. So he said, why were you praying all night? I said, what? He said, you were praying all night, Mommy. Why were you praying all night? And, and I, I took it like, okay, that's cool. That's deep. My son was hearing voices praying for me all night. Cool. And then, as I, and then I was hit with intense spiritual warfare July. And only then, like, I, the Lord started reminding me of stuff like, your son said you're praying all night. I think I was supposed to then start going into intense prayer, right? So that's when I started going into intense prayer. And then um, uh, uh, Kanyisa, who I've talked about on the channel, that's, there's something else I need to mention there. Um, I, I, you know, she started praying for me a lot. And then one night I had a dream where I saw my mother wearing a wedding, a, a wedding dress. And when I woke up from that dream, I, I knew like in our culture, there's something about wedding dresses and seeing a person wearing a wedding dress. And I knew it was something bad, but I couldn't remember. But the spirit told me, talk to Kanyisa, tell Kanyisa said the dream anyway I, I didn't say to anybody for a few days then I said mama I had a dream about you in a wedding dress and mama said ah, that means death I told Kolani Kolani I had a dream of mama in a wedding dress he said that means death and then I went to Kanisa and she also said according to me means death but she said I'm coming to your house and we're gonna with my with her husband and we're gonna come and pray so they came and they prayed they prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and they were using the Lord's prayer as as as, as praying points right and then Kanisa stopped and she said no uh, the spirit just told me you didn't see your mama like if you guys see my mother I'm a like I'm a total like I sometimes confuse myself or I, or I can confuse her for me, like, especially if our ways are similar, like I can look at an old picture and confuse my, my mom for me or the other way around because I'm a, like, I'm a, I'm a replica of her. And Kanisha said, um, the Lord just told me you didn't see your mother because you saw an, a, like an, a more matured person in a wedding dress. You thought it was your mother because of the, the likeness of that person. But he says it was you. You have been, you have been promoted. You are going into a season of promotion. This was all last week to tell you the truth. You, you've been promoted to a, a, a different level in the spiritual, in your spiritual gift. So you're going to start to see things differently. You're going to start to dream differently. This is what Kanyisa said, guys. It's important the people that you... I'm gonna go back to this one. Um, so that my dreams from that day, they changed. They were more intense. They were more deliberate. They were more, more, and, and I remember something Kanisa's husband said to me that day. He said, Tato, there are angels at your disposal because I've done a video on this channel where I said, I, 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 I crossed paths with Kanisa and she said to me, and just before that, I saw a ray pass my eye and to me, I was like, oh, Ray and Kanisa passed me and she was behind me and she said you have an angel following you do you know that and anyway so that day when when the husband was here he said you have angels at your command you have to start using them you need to start putting them in places you need to start asking them to go and and defend territories you want them to defend though that's the words they said that day and they left my house and then my dreams started to get intense if you watch my videos of late my dreams started to get super intense and super the the, the the spirit of of memory was also very intense fine so today 
I was dreaming a lot of things. And all of a sudden, it's like I was dropped into a car. And this car, there was a person here. She's female. There was a female here. I can't see her face. And there's a man. I think this was an Uber. And all of a sudden, just after I landed in this car, this car drove so fast. And I looked at the back of the head of this man. And somehow I could tell he just got possessed because he was driving and I could tell the spirit in him wanted to kill her. In this dream, I started praying and praying and I, I commanded my angels and her angels that have been sleeping, I commanded them to get up and lift this car out of the, the road and stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, that car stopped the driver's head jerked back here and 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 that spirit left and i was i was shot out of the dream immediately as as the car stopped why am i doing this video i woke up and i had this feeling i'm not gonna cry i woke up and i felt like i was i graduated i woke up and i felt like i was promoted you know, when God says he will fill you up, that you will be prosperous, that you have, you have an abundance, we think it's only monetary. But I woke up and I felt it. Like, I've, I've never prayed in a dream. Never. God is my witness. I've never. But I woke up and I, I, it, I felt like I understood I understood, like I understood where I fit in. And I now know, this is, you know guys, that scripture that says our our, our fight is not against flesh and blood, it, it's against the, 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 the principalities, the spirits that are operating in the spirit world. I understand that because I felt like today I stopped something that's supposed to happen to someone but i stopped it in the spirit world like i felt it in my heart i don't know this person but i felt i stopped something to, that was supposed to happen to someone but i stepped it away before it happened on earth All right but the important thing i want to say to you is this is is that you know, there's somebody out there like me, you, you don't have people who tell you, who direct you, who, you know, when Samuel had that voice, Samuel, Samuel, and he went to the priest and he, and he kept on saying, I didn't call you, I didn't call you. And eventually he said to him, if you hear the voice, say, speak, Lord, your servant hears you. If you don't have someone who can harness that, what happens is that then you go to Google and that opens a door for you to go and walk through other doors. You see, th this is why it's, 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 it's principalities and spirits in the spirit world. They know your gift. They know what you represent to the kingdom of, 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 of darkness, as in the threat you are. And they will always try and stop you. Now I understand why the day I denounced the new age, I had that dream where the spirit water and the zombies wanted to kill me. Now I understand because it was I was a threat to them. And not only that, I can tell you right now, I'm going to come back to this channel with testimonies where in the past i would have said the universe blessed me i would have said the law of attraction works i would have come here and said i got this because i manifested it the, the, the those because because why those those forces know the power i have and they wanted to misalign me i would still have the power that the lord bestowed upon me when i was in my mother's womb but i would then be attributing this power to the the wrong gods small g gods the gods of the waters the gods of the the other gods. So I would be using my God-given gift and attributing and giving praise to the universe and the wrong gods. And what would then happen? More people will be attracted to these forces. More people will be attracted to these laws of attraction, blah, 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 blah. So today, I, when I woke up, I realized all I've been doing is in training and and I feel like I'm I'm now going into my full 
I don't know if I should call it power because I feel like there's a, a bit of arrogance with power. Um, I'm going into my full place or my, my gift is being like it's like it's like I, I, I'm the, I can harness the power properly. I don't like that name. The power gives ego. I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is um, I feel like now I'm just going full circle. I'm, I'm going to keep using the same words because that's how it feels. And and the Lord is showing me how how this whole spirit world and earthly plane how it's working how how we get confused how we get we know we think we are we are we are christians we think we are we are obeying god but we are also touching on other spiritual things that take away and remember it says he's a jealous god he's a jealous god he doesn't want any part of you to give credit to any other god for the gifts and the blessings he gives to you so i i, I like oh our brothers and sisters i'm sorry i'm not even gonna try be smart or deep about this i want to just release this and say to somebody who is watching this because i know there is a particular person who needs to hear this and it's it's not that you're wrong it's not that there's any you did anything wrong just because you were not raised in a christian household or you have people who can direct you to 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 to, to say when you were young to say oh this means you maybe you have a gift um of, of prophecy or you have a gift of of intercession it's not wrong god knows how to work within the the parameters of your reality you see when i started this channel god gave me a dream and that dream i keep on saying to you guys you are going to leave the right people. You're going to leave the right people because you're hanging on to the wrong people. God gave me that, that dream. You see, Kanyisa is one person who is in my life. Why? Because for some reason, let me not make this video long. Next video, I will even touch, I will, I will focus on that, guys. You need the right people. God has put the right people in your life. If you are an orphan, God has put parents on the earthly plane for you if you were if you were a widow like listen god will put the right people who will feed your soul your, your your spirit will be fed in the right way never think you go you are going with with less than never think you you don't have the tools god is his Jehovah Jireh? He knows your circumstances, and he will work within the the confinement of those um, uh, circumstances that are confinements to you. But he created the earth. He created the earth so he can give you absolutely everything you need for you to be able to complete your mission and for you to be able to take position exactly at the place he wants you to be at in in, in the kingdom of God, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, let me just not talk any further because i feel like i won't stop talking i hope this message gets to somebody and even though i just went all over i hope it just merges things properly for the person who needs to hear it in the mighty name of jesus i say all these amen